All right. The physical exam, in my opinion, is one of the most underutilized approaches to determining why someone like you who is still having chronic pain. Now, the chronic pain that I'm talking about here is our chronic joint pain. So this is going to be your tendon, ligament, knee, back, neck, shoulder, ankle, wrist, that type of stuff. Not our chronic kind of widespread fibromyalgia or peripheral neuropathy, a small fiber neuropathy, things like that. So if you are suffering with chronic joint pain, then this video is going to be for you. The physical exam is what our practice is built on. The physical exam is what I believe truly results in us having the results that we do with our patients because our approaches are targeting tissues and therefore our regenerative injections, our PRP and our stem cell therapy, need to be targeted towards the tissues that are causing and contributing to pain. And so, you know, I've talked to a lot of people lately just about the physical exam in general and, and when is it needed? When should it be super in-depth? When does it not need to be in-depth? Look, if you're just going to start ibuprofen for your chronic pain, that's not really, you don't need a, a really in-depth physical exam in order to start ibuprofen because ibuprofen is not tissue specific. It's not going to just go to your MCL as opposed to intraarticular or it's not going to treat your facet joints but not your SI joint. No, if you're going to just start on, you know, a pain medication or an anti-inflammatory or something like that, you don't need a, you know, a thorough physical exam. If you're going to do physical therapy, that requires a full thorough physical exam. And most physical therapists um, are going to give you that physical exam. Now, they may not know, you know, really high level nuanced stuff, but they still know how to do a thorough physical exam because that's part of their training. Now, here's where it gets, I think, a little difficult is when you're looking in the interventional regenerative medicine space, the interventional orthobiologic space, whatever you want to call it, where people are putting needles into patients and we're using things like whether it's dextrose prolotherapy, PRP, stem cell therapy, whatever it is, where there is not a big reliance on the physical exam. And I think that is a huge, huge problem. And again, it's like what I said at the beginning of this video. If you have low back pain and you have an MRI and that MRI shows that, you know, the disc has a problem and you don't do a proper physical exam to know if that disc is actually the pain generator or not, then you don't know if it's causing pain. Right now, I am 100% pain-free in my back. I had an intradiscal PRP injection seven months ago, and I'm currently, I'm sitting right here in this moment, I am pain-free, and since that injection, I am 95% better. If we took another updated MRI of my back, I bet you I'm still gonna have two herniated discs, and I'm probably still gonna have annular tears or annular fissures in both of those discs, which is what was causing me pain before. We knew that based on the physical exam, not my imaging. But right now I'm pain free. And if we took an MRI, we would find things that you'd go, you must be in pain. How are you not in pain? Well, guess what? I'm not in pain. So you can have things on your imaging that don't necessarily cause pain. They can cause pain, but they don't always cause pain. And so if you have back pain, and you get an MRI and it shows that you have a small tear in your disc and a physician who is doing orthobiologics, PRP and stem cell therapy, does not do a proper physical assessment to try to understand, okay, is it your disc that is painful or is it your facet joints that are painful or is it your SI joint that's painful or your iliolumbar ligament or your interspinous ligament or your supraspinous ligament? There are a lot of stuff in this area, your clunial nerves, all those things they might stick a needle into your disc and give you an intradiscal PRP or stem cell treatment. And you might not get better if your disc was not the cause of your pain. Because if you inject the disc, but the disc wasn't the cause of your pain, and it was actually your facet joints that were causing you pain, and the facet joints weren't treated, guess what? The injection did not treat the thing that was causing you pain. And that is why the physical exam is absolutely crucial. Now, imaging is also extremely important in this interventional space because there are things that look very similar. So as an example, sometimes clunial nerve issues look very much like a disc issue. 
Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, sometimes they look completely different. Sometimes an SI joint issue looks very similar on a physical exam to facet joint issues. That is where imaging may be of benefit. If we have a situation where we are not sure if this is clunials or if this is disc, and I take an MRI and the discs look pristine, it's most likely not the disc. It's most likely the clunial nerves. If we do an MRI and the discs have annular fissures and that matches up and we don't see really any issues with the clunial nerves, then that's going to suggest us more towards that disc issue. But we still need the physical exam in order to differentiate what is painful and not painful that is guided by the imaging. And it's just, it's, it's so clear to me that this is where a lot of the interventional orthobiologic space is not doing very well. I know a lot of, I've heard a lot of stories of providers out there who are just really deciding what injections need to be done simply based off imaging and maybe a quick five minute, maybe 10 minute chat with the patient and that's about it. And you know, there are some very, very, very talented providers out there and I just, it is interesting to me that there is still not a bigger focus on the physical assessment because in my opinion, it is absolutely crucial. So if you are considering going to get a PRP or a stem cell procedure, even prolotherapy, this is something that you want to really do your research on and you want to learn more about that provider that you're gonna go see. If you want, you can come see us, great. If you're watching this video, if you've made it this far, you know that I'm gonna give you one hell of a great physical exam to try and figure out why you're still in pain and where we're gonna target our needle. But if you're not out here in Arizona, you're unable to travel to Arizona, you know somebody who can do this for you locally, great, fantastic, I'm happy for you. Do your homework so that you're not wasting your money on providers who are not gonna do a thorough physical exam. They are not going to try to determine where your pain is coming from based on a physical exam and all the other information because there's, it, there's a higher chance that it's not gonna work. And I just don't want people to waste their money on things that might not work. It is better to be um, a little more educated and informed on that process, which I think the physical exam gets you there. So my rambling is done. Have a good one.